Well, good morning, ladies. It's my pleasure to be here with you again. I think this is my third time, and I'm very honored to be here. Uh, I'm going to turn things a little bit upside down today, and you'll see in a minute. I hope you all have your mirror and um, this uh, little bulletin here. So we'll begin with the call to worship. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Oh, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. And our opening hymn is 2130, The Summons. favorite songs. And when I came here, I was delighted to see it in the songbook. So thank you. And the other two are uh, two, two of my favorite, too. So being a little selfish here in choosing songs. And I have to thank Sue for, for playing. Uh, the scripture I chose was from uh, Peter, chapter 4, 9 to 11. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. 
Amen. Now it's time for prayers from you. Any prayer requests or joys or celebrations? Mom's former caretaker, Kim, has been diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. And her mother passed away from that, uh, but her mom didn't take the medicine. So she, Kim keeps saying, but I'm going to take the medicine. So, Kim. Anyone else? Chris. And our family friend that I mentioned several weeks ago, Colleen, um, is still recovering from the cabinets falling on her. She has a boot on one leg and a cast on the other, and she got kicked out of rehab, so she's at her sister's house without a wheelchair, and she's 81 years old. So uh, We should remember Loretto and Dick. Loretto is home taking care of Dick this morning, as, as each one of us would do, so keep them both in our prayers. Would you? I know. Thank you, Mary Paul. Yes. Thank you, Mary Paul. Who else said? Oh. Yes. That's so true. Congrats to all of you for, for doing I'm amazed. I used to have a women's group <coughs> once a month we met. <laughs> this every week is just phenomenal. I applaud you. And this is the last one, I believe, so until the fall. So everyone have a good, good summer break. Um, the offer t offering continues to support the work of the Peace Learning Center um, and also we're continue to, to collect the toiletries. Um, and the plate is in the back if you'd like to make a contribution as we leave. Now our next hymn is We Walk by Faith 2190. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like that hymn. I didn't know those words. Oh, I just, I just love it. A lot of good memories with that. Thank you, Thank you all for singing. Um, the message today, if you want to call it that, it's more like a, a questionnaire for you all, is um, titling it Questions at the End of the Day. I discovered this um, poet, John O'Donohue, well, anyone Irish, I'll just latch on to them. And soon after I discovered him, I found out he had just passed. So it kind of broke my heart, but uh, someone had given me this book a long time ago, and I just think it's beautiful. And it's entitled, uh, To Bless the Space Between Us by John Donahue. And the one I really love is called, the, At the End of the Day, um, Questions to Ask Yourself in the Mirror, to Look in the Mirror. Now, I'm sure you don't remember, but I think I used this theme before about looking in the mirror at length. I think I, I mentioned at the end of the day. That's why I'm saying I'm turning your day upside down, okay? This is for at night. <laughs> so we're going to pretend it's nighttime. You all got a little, the little mirror, which you may look into if you can see. <laughs> it's so tiny. But um, it's going to be something to just sit back, close your eyes if you need to, and just think about the questions that are asked. And then you can take this home and try once again maybe. But or look in your own. So, what we're going to do now is pretend it's evening, it's the end of your day, and you're doing whatever your rituals are to get ready for bed, and you look, go in the bathroom, or you sit in front of a, if you're lucky enough to have a little vanity or something, to sit in front of it. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> now I can read it. Um, so there's quite a few questions, so I'll try to go slow, and if anyone wants a copy of this, I can give it to you later. So these are, at the end of the day, a mirror of questions. What dreams did I create last night? Where did my eyes linger today? Where was I blind? Where was I hurt without anyone noticing? What did I learn today? What did I read? today? What new thoughts visited me today? What differences did I notice in those close to me? Whom did I neglect today? Where did I neglect myself? What did I begin today that might endure? How were my conversations? What did I do today for the poor and the excluded? Did I remember the dead today? Where could I have exposed myself to the risk of something different today? Where did I allow myself to receive love? With whom did I feel most myself today? What reached me today? How deep did it imprint me? Who saw me today? What visitations had I from the past and from the future? What did I avoid today? From the evidence, why was I given this day? I know this is a very personal thing, so I don't know if anyone wants to contribute any first thoughts they had, but um, I just thought this was such a lovely passage and I wanted her poem, I wanted to share it with you, even though, as I said, it's kind of in the evening. And then later, I have a prayer for you at night, so I hope I haven't <coughs> messed up your whole uh, biorhythms or anything today by <laughs> just talking about the night. But um, anyone have anything to say about that or do some of you even do this? I know a lot of people practice um, just in their evening time of settling down and prayer. I pray in the morning more, but some people pray at night. And anyone have any comments or first impressions? Do you think it's something that would be a little helpful? Or, you know, just, I like going over the day and seeing, where did I mess up? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Okay, in the middle of the day, sure. That's a good time to take a break. Mm -hmm. Right, during the, reflecting during the pandemic more. Mm -hmm. Right. Very 
very, very, very personal. Did any one of those questions kind of like, oops, hit you? <laughs> I had a thought. I remembered um, last night at the last Wednesday Night Live when um, it's after the musical, but so many of the kids that participated in the musical from Keith Elementary were there with their families, and they're interested in church camp and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought, well, can we support them? You know, this one woman had like seven kids with her. So, like, how can we help her get her kids to church camp? Yeah. And just, you know, thinking about all that. And we had, we had a lot of fun chatting, and the kids were amazed that my name was only three letters to their words. That's beautiful, Sue. That is, I, I think of everything as prayer. I think of our, everything we do all day long as prayer. So um, when I, the first time I read this, it really uh, made me pray a lot more, <laughs> reflect a lot more on my day. You know, and even though it's so hard for everybody right now, um, prayer is the, the best thing we can do. Anybody else? Any, does anybody have one to add to that question you ask yourself at the end of the day? I love the end, you know, given the evidence or your answers <laughs> to the questions, why were you given this day? Sometimes when you look back and you think, oh my gosh, I remember something I heard or learned or saw a few days ago, and it's like, that's why I saw it, because I need to do it today. You know, I need to use that today. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, many times you go through it and it's like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Ooh, that one. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Anybody else? That's very typical. <laughs> well, it, can, it doesn't have to be at night. You know, you can do this anytime. So whatever is your the best time for you to, to stop and break. And, and we need that now, especially, I think. Um, I was listening to something this morning about all the parents that are overloaded. <laughs> You know, I'm not as overloaded as I was 20 years ago, but overloaded. And it's very scary what could be happening to a lot of the families. And so the, the advice was basically slow down, take time, reflect. The best one of all that we all hear but we never follow, take care of yourself first. <laughs> you know, if you don't take care of yourself. I remember taking my first um, child, my daughter, into the pediatrician the first day, and I'm holding her and holding her, my precious little baby, and waiting for him to give me some wise words of wisdom. And finally, he, you know, he's saying, are you going out to eat? Or are you getting out? Are you um, taking naps? You, and I'm looking at him, you know, my, I'm here for her. I'm here. For, and he goes, Pat, if mom's OK, baby's OK. <laughs> and I have thought of that and repeated it to many, many people over the years. And it's, all, it's like the airplane thing, you know, put your mask on first. <coughs> so I, I really pray for a lot of the parents, my three kids and their spouses and grandchildren. Um, it's been a rough, a rough time for everybody. I have a friend who's interviewing students somewhere for scholarships, and they're in the central cities, and she said, oh my God, the stories just break your heart, break your heart. So we have it, we have it pretty good. Okay, my third favorite song <laughs> is uh, 2223, They'll Know We Are Christians by Our Love. <laughs>
benediction is a, a prayer that I um, had for I can't tell you how many years, but I redid some, and um, you, you can get one on the way out. And when I was talking about, remember, we think back at the end of the day and answer some of these questions, but we also reflect on what happened during the day. And I did, I think I said, you know, we think of all the things we messed up and all the things we did wrong, <laughs> which is so much easier than, you know, heaven forbid we congratulate ourselves for doing something good, you know. Be good to yourself. So um, this is the benediction or final prayer. And when night comes and you look back over the day and see how fragmentary everything has been and how much you planned that has gone wrong and undone and all the reasons you have to be embarrassed and ashamed, just take everything exactly as it is, put it in God's hands, and leave it with him. Okay? Promise? Okay. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Very appropriate.